Hello and welcome back to my channel. As already announced, I'm going to show you the entire process of how I make my lip balms. So first of all, I like to keep the different flavors that I have in different containers. Then I print out the labels. I will leave a link to the printer I have down in the description box. Very good printer for labels and so forth. And then I just take a label, I cut it just a little bit so that it will fit exactly around the tube. Just like so. And then you have the label on your tube. By the way, if you are a member of my Buy Me A Coffee page, you will have access to different kind of labels that I designed for different kind of products, also for lip balms. And if you are not a member and you are interested, in, you might also check the link that I have down in the description box. So I'm just proceeding to add the labels to all of these tubes here. Next step that I'm doing is you have this shrink wrap for lip balm tubes and they have a little perforation towards the end so that you can slide in the tube and then you adjust it to the point where the cap is so that you can just tear off the upper part and then you can see here the perforation and then you have lip balm tube is basically protected and you know that nobody else used it before. So this of course is an extra step, is a bit time consuming and so forth, but I think it's totally worth it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put shrink band on every lip balm tube. I will leave a link where you can find these shrink wraps here in the description box below, as well as where you can find the lip balm tubes and every other equipment that I'm using. Now comes the fun part. As you can see, all the lip balms are lined up here with their shrink wraps on and I have the heat gun. You just want to put it on so that it's really hot enough. And then you just, I hope you can see it, you just place it on the balms and then they will shrink as you go. So let me see if I can show you a little bit close up here. Can you see? they are ready to give away as a gift or to use it or to sell it. As a little tip, when I'm using a heat gun, I'm always placing it in a heat safe container. That way I avoid any burning or damaging. And here they are, the lip balms, they are ready to be transferred in their container. And now we're gonna proceed and I show you how I use the lip balm tray to make the pour of the 50 lip balms. This is a tool that you can find also on Amazon. So you wanna turn it around and then you grab your lip balm tubes and you just place them or stick them into the applicable holes here. I have another video on my channel where you can find another type of lip balm project I made. And instead of using the lip balm tubes, I found these adorable macaron containers on Amazon. I will leave a link down in the description box. So I just poured the mixture into these little containers and I think they are great as a gift and they come in many different colors. All right, so we are ready for the pour now. And as you can see, the ingredients are completely melted. For those who know me 
you know that I like to use a double boiler whenever I'm melting down ingredients. I think it's just a gentle heating method compared to a microwave. You can of course use a microwave as well. And if you do, just make sure you use short increments and you frequently check your mixture so that you prevent it from overheating. So I'm just pouring the mixture into all the cavities. And it's really practical, that way you can just pour it once and then you have 50 sticks ready to go. So I'm just distributing everything. And then we need to wait for about, let's say, 10 to 15 minutes before we can actually remove the tubes from the tray here. You can see, very easy, you just remove it and you're ready to go. Now there is an extra step that you could do now if you are not satisfied with the pour or how even the mixture is inside the tube. You could take your heat gun again, be sure that you just use very gentle heat on it and you could pass it over the tubes that you think are not poured evenly. So this will heat up the mixture again and then it will solidify in an even way. All right, so I'm recapping the last tubes here. And of course, if you see that there is a little mixture on the tube, you just want to clean everything properly. That's the second half, let's say. I'm just going over with the cloth just to make sure that everything is really nice and clean. The next step is, of course, the labeling. This is a very nice lip balm mixture that is really very stable. Like, it's very good for winter. In summer, it will not melt. It will stay pocket safe, let's say. This is a very easy skincare recipe that you can try out for yourself at home. I would love to hear about it. Now I'm gonna pack a special lip balm Christmas edition order I had. And if you're looking for more skincare DIY projects or you're interested in soap making, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you around very soon for another video. And in the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye.